Hi there, it's Samantha Kersanthu of Upamu here. In this video, I'm going to show you how we use the gradient tool in Quick Mask to quickly add drama to skies. If you don't know by now, this video is a supplement to our ebook with the cute title of Sam and Darwin's 7 Quick and Dirty Processing Shortcuts for Lazy Photographers, and you can find it on our website, upamu.com. If you don't know how to set up and use Quick Mask, you'll want to watch our other two videos on Quick Mask first. So here we have an image of a dramatic summer storm. We want to emphasize the power of that brewing storm in a subtle way, and in particular, we need to darken the upper third of the image, which looks brighter than it did to our eye at the time of capture. The gradient tool is an excellent way to subtly blend changes in tone across an image. We can use this tool in conjunction with Quick Mask for fast but powerful adjustments. You can find the gradient tool on the toolbox about halfway down. It's the icon that looks like a graduated filter. The keyboard shortcut is G. Before we begin, make sure the color swatch in the toolbox is set to the default of black and white in order to obtain the maximum effect of the mask. The keyboard shortcut to do this is D. And remember that you can toggle the X key on the keyboard to switch between black and white for the different effects that we covered in video two. Now click on the little triangle to open the gradient picker in the options bar. Select the icon of the gradient that moves in transition from black to white. This will give us a mask that moves from dense or maximum effect to light or minimum effect. Still on the options bar, we need to choose the pattern of gradient we want to use. Since we're going to mimic the effect of a graduated neutral density filter in the field, where the dark part of the filter is going to cover that bright sky, we want to choose a linear gradient. Sometimes we use the radial gradient, which we describe in our seven quick and dirty processing shortcuts ebook, but we find the linear gradient is the most useful for darkening skies in landscape photography. Now we're ready to apply our gradient to the image. We enter Quick Mask, keyboard shortcut Q, and move our mouse to where we want our gradient to start. Click and drag downwards to about where we want the gradient effect to end. The longer we drag the mouse, the more subtle will be the transition effect in our final selected area. We can also obtain a more abrupt transition by drawing a shorter gradient. If we aren't getting the gradient we like, we can redraw our mask and try again, varying the angle and length of the gradient. Once we're happy with the gradient, then we click the quick mask icon on the toolbox or press Q to turn our mask into a selection. Hide the marching ants under view, extras, or with the keyboard shortcut, control H or command H. Now we're ready to make our changes. We like using the curves tool found under image, adjustments, curves, or using the keyboard shortcut Control M, Command M. A really intuitive way to use the curves tool is to work with the targeted adjustment tool, which is the little hand with arrows pointing up and down in the curves dialog box. Click on the targeted adjustment tool and move your cursor to the area in the image you want to affect. You'll notice that the cursor will turn into a little eyedropper, ready to sample pixels to map onto the curves graph. Click and hold in this spot, and the eyedropper will now turn into a little hand that you can drag up or down to lighten or darken parts of your image. You can see the pixels being affected in the curves dialog box as we move the targeted adjustment tool. So let's darken those highlights in the sky. That looks about right. Release the mouse button when you're happy with the effect. Now we can move to another area of the image that we want to lighten or darken. We want to set off that crazy storm cell, so let's move our mouse to the blue in the sky, where we will click and drag down to darken that area. You can put as many targeted adjustment points on your curve as you want, but we find that one to three points, targeting the highlights, midtones, and shadows, is usually all we need to make effective changes. More than three points can result in weird color artifacts or unnatural tonalities in our image. Always remember that after you use a tool like the gradient tool and quick mask, you will need to deselect your selection. 
this is especially easy to forget when we hide those marching ants that mark a selection. Click Select, Deselect, or the keyboard shortcut Control D, Command D to turn off the selection. And that's it! Truly, using the gradient tool in QuickMask is the ultimate lazy photographer shortcut to great skies.